All right, guys, here we are at the number 15 corner step. Uh, again, we'll get started with the footprint. We can see we've got 60 millimeters by 50, and it's 50 millimeters high. So we'll draw in a uh, shape 60, comma 50. Zoom in on that, and then push it up by 50. All righty. Now, um, usually when we have like an L shape like we do here, it's good to get that in first. So we can use the tape measure to measure in 12 millimeters, like it says there, and then 12 millimeters, like it says over there. 12, perfect. Now, we use the pencil line with the shift function, like we spoke about earlier, to hover over that. Click, click, it's easy as that. Okay, now we need to push it down to the first step, which is 12 millimeters down. Point two, enter, great. Now, uh, I guess what we have to do now is we just need to continually draw the steps in and push it down a little bit further. So we'll measure 12 millimeters in, pull that line across, and then push it down another 12, enter. And okay, now we've got a crooked step. It doesn't actually tell us any dimensions about where it is, but, uh, sorry, on the step it doesn't tell us. But if we look down here, we can see that it's 24, milli 24 millimeters from there to there and 12 millimeters from there to there. So we can draw those in just like this. Uh, 12 millimeters from there to there, 24 millimeters that way. Draw in that diagonal line and push this bit down. Um, it doesn't say how far down it is, but it does tell us that the bottom part here is 12 millimeters high. So we need to draw a tape measure line first, 12 millimeters, and then we can push this bit down, hover over that guide point, and we might need to look at it from a different angle. There we go, guide point, and that is the steps done. Jeez, that was easy, I thought that would take a bit longer. All right, um, now we just need to put that mortise on the side wall there. Um, it's an eight millimeter mortise, so that means each side of it is eight millimeters, and it's also, just happens to be, eight millimeters from each edge. So, that, seems, that sounds pretty easy, doesn't it? We'll go eight, down, eight, cross, and then we'll grab the square tool or the rectangle tool and draw in a, on the green surface, eight comma eight, a little mortise. Okay, we'll push this one all the way through. There we go, and look at that. That is a corner step done. Jeez, I should have put this one a bit earlier in the booklet. That was pretty easy, wasn't it? All right, get rid of our guides, file, save, Save it as number 15 corner step. Perfect. Okay, um, what do we got next? We'll go file, new, and we've got a ramp guide. Oh, that one looks a bit trickier. Two ramps in there. Uh, all right, I'll see you over in the next video.